This is the Hush haircut, big in Korea. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, thanks for being here. So on today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a request from one of the comment section. I haven't seen this haircut before, but it's very similar if you are a regular at the channel to wolf cuts, butterfly cuts. This is the Hush haircut style from Korea. And I didn't really know what it was, so I went and had a look online. And there's basically on YouTube people doing it, obviously, in salon, section by section. As you know, I love to have a little bit of an explore, have a little bit of a play. So I'm going to be putting this into a ponytail, a couple of ponytails, probably three or four, to be honest, um, and creating the hush hairstyle on this mannequin. So this is a bit of a last minute video because I've just seen it. Obviously, I'm wearing black T-shirt. Mannequin's hair is dark, you're gonna kill me. But I'll be getting out of the way and I'll be showing you because I don't need to be in the way when it comes to cutting or anything like that. So, really looking forward to this one. I haven't done a ponytail haircut in forever. Um, so we're gonna be maintaining all this length, but we're going to be sort of taking a lot of this shortness through here. So it's short through here and gets gradually longer through the back, but keeps the length. So you lose a lot of this density. So you're left with like stringy, I don't want to say stringy, but less density hair down here. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll use this mannequin to, to cut a bobbin. So uh, I can show you guys how to, how to do a, a bob. So yeah, I'm gonna get this mannequin prepped into ponytails. I'm just gonna, there's a real sort of cow's lick section through there. Cause it's, I've just literally taken this one out of a bag. Um, so I'm just going to blow dry that forward so I don't have any sort of kink ups, kink ups, kinks, anything like that. So, yeah, I'm going to get that all prepped, get it all sectioned. We'll jump onto the board, explain the sectioning pattern, and then we'll get into the haircut. You can see the mannequin is all prepped and sectioned. I'm just going to talk the sectioning pattern through um, because, it's, it's, again, it's very, very similar, creating concave rounded layers. Uh, we want to create over direction, we want to maintain length, we want to maintain, um, yeah, we want to maintain length and, and put in a little bit of shortness and, and stuff like that. So, how we came about it, we've come quite narrow at the front, where's that, just in from the corner of the brows, so just in from the corner of the brows, it comes around like that because what I want to do, and the ponytail is situated there, because what I want to get, again, I want to get that sort of shortness to the front through here, but I want there to be length around the back. So I want it to be sort of shorter through here, and then it gets longer sitting over the length that's going to be kept down here. But we need shortness around the face slightly, which is why the ponytails are pulled forward here elevated slightly to create softness so that ponytail is there so this length what we'll get is that so section pattern comes through like that and then that ponytail is there and then ponytail on the side ponytail on the side that's all pulled forward pulled forward pulled forward so where we come from here, say, is around like that. Ponytail, ponytail, ponytail. And what that will give us is because this is pulled forward towards the front, we've still got a little bit of over direction back. So when we cut that, we'll have shortness through the front because it's closer to the front, but then at the back, this because we're going to go we are going to go quite short with this it's going to be a a lot of hair gone um but again when you've got that then that it's probably going to sit around about here this top section and then this front section i'm not really going to take too much off because it's elevated um elevated and pushed forward i'm just going to pull them forward like so and then probably just take the ends off as if i was doing like a forward graduation and then we'll get some short pieces here, but we'll maintain the length. That's the idea. And then with this mannequin afterwards, I'm gonna put in a really nice bob. 
so it doesn't go to waste. But yeah, it's a shame all that. I'm going to actually put that in a ponytail and I'm going to use this for test strands. I've got loads of new colours from Joyco that I need to test. So this hair here will be perfect for this. I hate seeing hair go to waste. There we go. You can actually see how short. Sorry. You. So you can actually see how short we're going to go. I'm going to cut it just below there. And then what we got there? That plus that, which is there. So we've probably got about that much, which when it's here, will be sitting around right about here. So perfect. But this is the Hush haircut, big in Korea. I wonder why it's called Hush. I'll look into it. Right. So I'm just going to pull forward just to sort of give it a little bit of angle. And then I'm just going to cut through that point there. Just so you can see. So I've got that band in there. So we're going to keep this hair. There we go. We're going to keep this. And again, to soften off, you can either point cut. Because we do want this top quite soft. Or you can get thinning scissors, keep it together. And don't go deep into it because you're going to really struggle. Just, just nip through the ends. And then you could point cut. You're just not going to take as much hair away. But there we go. First one done. Second one is this side. And like I said, I'm not taking much off. Let's just keep her quite square to me. Again, we're going to elevate and then that's it. We want to we want to keep the length. And then again, there. Check for balance. So just a little bit longer. There we go. Right, so when we pull all this out, what we should have is like a bit of a bowl sitting on top of length. Now you can see, just taking that little bit off, we've got this shortness here, you've got that length there. So in salon, you can see, there's a little bit of shape in there. In salon, what I would do, is if I was doing this, I'd be bringing up, cutting like that. Next section. Again, towards the front, and then just letting it fall down like so. So we want that sort of individual texturized look. Let's bring her up. So you can see, like, that's the sort of thing. Is she straight? There she's straight. Like, this is what we wanted. This sort of stringiness. And a, and a great product for this, actually, would be Beat Shake by Joyco. This has got beeswax in it. It's a bit oily. So what it would do is give us... Just a little bit more separation. Let's bring it around there. So you can see that separation all in there now. Okay, so that's what gives us that sort of stringy. It reminds me very much of the octopus haircut. Let's pull this. I know what I'll do.
and there we go that is it you've got the shortness here 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 and it goes back into that there so it gives you that bit of a bowl on top so i'm just going to style this out because it's been up in that pony it's, it's sitting really really poker straight let me just show you what it looks like at the minute that's what it looks like at the minute so i'll do a little bit of just a bit of blow drying just to make it look prettier and then we'll jump straight back so that is it raw i hope it's helped you understand when cutting a shape like this what we're actually looking for to create shortness through here we need to be for, like forward elevating over directing um, and we need to be disconnecting this bottom to create the length now i necessarily wouldn't do loads of these but i actually think it's really cool technically i think it's really cool and i think the girls briefly that i've seen wearing them wear them very very good But like I wanted you to see, I'll just show you the back. I just want to get this a little bit sort of styled so you can actually see what it looks like. But I might actually, with this one, I might record another video after this of not cor not correcting it, but doing it properly. So where there's, it's, it's very hard lines, as you'd expect from a, from a ponytail haircut. But actually, really like the simplicity of it even though it looks technically if you'd see it on like a like a runway or on, on somebody you'd think oh how are you going to how are you get creating all that body and short shortness up here but it still looks connected and it's just all to do with angles if you look there there we go and it is it's, it is similar to like the octopus I was calling it the squid in the salon the other day, how you've got this sort of shortness up here, and then it's got these sort of tentacles as, as such, which is the length. But this product here, Joico Beach Shake, is perfect for it. It's got a, a little bit of hold, but it's got enough moisture in there as the beeswax and the oils to give it that separation. If you were to work your fingers even more, a bit like a wax, when in guys' hair you work a wax in, that sort of thing, create separation. You do the same with this. But there we go guys, that is it. That is the Korean street style hush haircut, cut with two ponytails. At the beginning I said maybe three, maybe four. Once I've worked out where hair had to sort of like travel to, to create this look, two sections and we create this really cool look. So yeah, hope you like it. And if you do, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you want me to do the salon version, which is the section, 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 or sort of correct this one, let me know in the comments down below. And um, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.